Hi, folks, it's Voss here from thechrisvossshow.com. Hey, coming here with another great podcast. We certainly appreciate you guys tuning in. Boy, this week is going to be an exciting week. We're going to Infocom 2019 in Orlando, Florida. It's a huge, giant tech show, almost like a mini CES, if you will. And, uh, wow, all sorts of really cool technological breaking stuff, innovative stuff is going to be there, and it's going to be exciting. If you're at the show, today we're going to be profiling some of the booths that you should be checking out, some of our ad sponsors there, and people that uh, have some really innovative products, and you'll want to catch them at the show. So be sure to keep a pen and paper handy so you can take and go through some of their stuff. Uh, some of the different booths we're going to be reviewing at Infocom. Uh, there's going to be the Kramer booth. That's booth 2929. We're going to be the Sproylink booth interview uh, at 466 booth number. And we're going to be doing uh, Targus booth interview. Uh, that's booth 4887. And the Casio booth number 900. So you're going to want to catch all four of these booths at the Infocom show. We've got a few other people that we're going to be seeing there as well. So be sure to watch our stream on, on Twitter and every place else so you can see the updates for that. So let's get into this. Uh, one of the first people that uh, we recommended seeing at Infocom is Kramer. You can go to their website and uh, check it out at KramerAV.com. Com, KramerAV.com. So at the Kramer booth, you're going to be able to see some of the most innovative technology. They've been around for 35 years, and these guys make tons of products. Just an amazing array. I can't even list all the products these guys make. They make so many. But a lot of presentation devices, switches, matrices, live event presentation systems, all-in-one presentation systems, HDMI extenders, power amplifiers, multi-viewers, um, accessories, AV tools, AV over IP, wireless presentation, collaboration control management, scalers, converters, distribution amplifiers, uh, KM and KVM, Sierra Video uh, Software Solutions. These guys make everything, and a lot of it's HDMI based, a lot of it's audio visual based. Of course, it's a big audio visual show. And they're going to be featuring some of their latest and coolest technology. We'll be profiling that in our interview with the podcast we'll be doing specifically with Kramer. Uh, on the 12th, so be sure to check that out. But in the meantime, take and put them on your booth log uh, on the uh, Infocom app, and you can make sure you see them or see them at the booth. Uh, tell them Chris Voss sent you at booth number 2929. So that should be really cool and really fun. And uh, they're going to have some interesting things going on as well. They're going to have a guest speaker, Pete Putman, uh, on Wednesday at June 12th at 8 a.m. He's going to discuss designing system infrastructure in the UHD TV revolution. So make sure you check that out. Uh, they also have a Kramer Expo app. They have their own Expo app. That's pretty it's pretty darn awesome. Uh, so you can check that out as well. Look for the Kramer Expo app on your Google Play or your iTunes. You can you can uh, check that out as well. So that should be pretty interesting. I think that's pretty cool. People have their own Expo app. Uh, I think a lot, every company that comes to these expos should have those. Next up, let's talk about Casio. Casio is going to be at the show. This is going to be pretty amazing. As you know, Casio is a huge brand name. Everyone knows them and knows their reputation. Uh, they're making some really super cool projectors called lamp free projectors if the, if you will uh you can go to their website at casioprojector.com and they're going to be uh putting out a whole different lineup of all sorts of projectors variations on the theme and they're going to be of course doing all sorts of really cool stuff with them that is going to blow your mind and some of the content that goes into them uh they basically design unique laser and LED hybrid light source technology that provides high brightness, reliability, and a lifespan of up to 20,000 hours. Uh, their lamp-free projectors are also easy to use and don't need costly lamp replacements, have dust-resistant design that eliminates frequent filter changes in dusty rooms. So that's always good to have you. <laughs> if you have a room like mine where there's a lot of dust from the Huskies that we have, it's crazy. Uh, they're going to be showing off their XJL8300HN, which delivers crystal clear projection with a 4K, love 4K, UHD resolution and a brightness of 5,000 lumens. So that's going to be pretty cool. And of course, we'll be featuring this on the Chris Voss show as well. In addition to that, Cassie will be bringing their award-winning Superior Series. They've been developing, they've uh, been doing this for over a decade of award-winning lamp-free technology. They pioneered the digital projection space when it created the lamp-free category in 2010. And they're going to be taking it to the next level here. 
Uh, these are going to be the lamp-free projectors that offer brightness up to 4,000 lumens. And the new models are going to have full HD resolution with sharp, crisp images and vibrant colors and a 1.7 zoom lens. So how about them apples? And uh, basically, it's going to have a service life up to 20,000 hours with no need to change a lamp. That's good. And it's really popular in schools, evidently, uh, where it's got an operating lifetime of up to 18 years. Holy crap. And that's good for school money when it comes down to it. And that's with the projector running six hours a day through a 180 school year. And uh, it's going to boast the new dust resistant design with improved efficiency in cooling light source and power supply as well. So uh, that's going to be pretty awesome. Be sure to check out Casio. Uh, you can go to their website and see them at CasioProjector.com. You can also see them with us at Booth. 900 so you'll be able to find that there at the show be sure to check that out put it on your list now the spoiling booth is going to be run by a company called ats-professional yeah, you can see their website at ats-pro.com. ATS Professional is the exclusive distributor for Sproylink in the United States. So uh, you're going to be able to get a chance to see their products, all that sort of good stuff. Uh, they're a creative video technology company that's dedicated to providing professional solutions, focused on quality and stability with strong and experienced technical team. Uh, Sproylink, of course, has a great market reputation in the AV industry, and the products are widely used at live events, fixed installations, publicity, conference systems, and anywhere high quality video processing is needed you can check them out go to ats-pro.com uh, or you can see them at uh, infocom booth 466 in orlando and uh, i believe the booth will say uh, spro link on it so watch for that they make a bunch of 4k hdr uh different products that blow your mind and everything when it comes to delivering that content etc cetera, etc cetera. so be sure to look for that Next up, we have the Targus booth at Infocom 2019. You'll be able to see that at booth number 4887. And uh, wow, this is going to be a big show. Uh, Targus is doing some really cool stuff, and they're launching a really cool 4K docking product. It's a first to market quad. 4K docking station. Uh, if you remember Press, you may want to contact them. They are doing on the 12th uh, in the morning at 7.30 a.m. to 9 a.m. a special breakfast. You can RSVP them at targusus at hotwireglobal.com. I don't know if they filled that as of yet, but if you remember the press, you do want to go see this wonderful product, get hosted their wonderful breakfast they're going to be having at the Hyatt Regency on Orlando Bay Hill. Uh, you can take and uh, contact them, see if they have availability, and uh, get a chance to check out their new DOC 570 USZ. It's going to seamlessly deliver 4K to four extended displays, uh, which is pretty amazing. So it's the first to market quad four docking station. It will broadcast to four extended displays at 4K. Wow, it's just amazing where we're going. And of course, if you're a company, this is uh, going to be pretty hot for you. Or if you're you know, a broadcaster, whatever the case may be, or a gamer, a gamer might really like this sort of stuff. I got to tell you, I use a lot of docks here at the Chris Voss Show. They're wonderful and excellent. And I plug more stuff into the docks than I do into the back of the computers these days because it's just easier. And most of the docks that are coming out nowadays are just faster in the way they can process data and everything else. So this is going to be pretty exciting to see their uh, technology they're bringing forth. Now, the other thing about TAR, Targus is they make a ton of different products. They do make a lot of docking products, the 4K docking stations, dual system docking stations, power delivery docking stations, Thunderbolt 3 docking stations, um, all these different docking stations, of course, that uh, have become really popular, especially with the Apple computers, you know, making and eliminating different stuff. But some of their uh, really cool docking stations can give power and super plugability to all the different things you want to plug into the unit and away you go. And of course, uh, it, they just do a great job. They're great, uh, too, if you're running on laptops, et cetera, et cetera. Targus also makes great laptop bags, tablet cases, and different accessories. Uh, they make backpacks, sleeves, messenger bags, form fit cases, totes, roller bags, briefcases, um, all sorts of different collections, whether you're, uh, you know, just uh, doing something in fun, great for college students or professionals, photographers, all that sort of good stuff. There's all sorts of different bags that they make that you can enjoy, community like backpacks, uh, laptop travel bags, SharePoint friendly bags, eco friendly bags, uh, student backpacks, and men's laptop bags. You be sure to watch for those on the Chris Wash show. I'm sure we'll be reviewing more of them in the future. The iPad cases, universal cases, um, 
uh, rotating iPad cases as well, uh, universal cases, just all sorts of cases when it comes down to it. Some of the other things they make are uh, cooling pads, privacy screens, screen protectors, cable locks, power adapters, power tips, cables and adapters, stylus pens, keyboards and mice, USB hubs, and wireless presenters. So definitely you're going to want to go see the Targus booth. You can go to booth 4887 and also you can go to us.targus.com. Tell them Chris Voss sent you. Anyway, the, uh, those are kind of the wrap up of some of the initial booth we recommend you see at Infocom 2019. And uh, I think you'll be impressed with some of the stuff they have going on there. Be sure to give us a like, subscribe to us on YouTube, watch for updates we'll be doing on the Infocom show, and we'll be of course doing interviews with all these wonderful folks uh, at their booths and you'll be able to see them and of course hear all the really cool stuff they're going to be doing anyway thanks for tuning in we'll see you next time